Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, JB's Lecture. I am Jui Bhattacharya and today again I have come with a new chapter, with a new poem belonging to ISC Board Class 11 syllabus. Uh, it has been a few weeks back that I have posted videos and now today again I am posting a new video with a new chapter that I have just declared. And the poem which is written on the screen you can see that is Desiderata, words for life. Okay. So the picture, whose picture you can see on the screen, uh, I guess you can understand that this is the picture of the poet and the poet is none other than Max Ehrman. Now, uh, let us, uh, you know, know something about the poem first. You know, this poem, Desiderata, is a 19... 20s prose poem. Yes, it is a prose poem. Now, what is a prose poem? Let me just explain it. Prose poem is a type of poem which does not have the very rhythm which a typical poem has. It is having the very shape of a prose, like a shape of a story, and also you can say that it is actually a poem but not a story. Okay, these are called basically the prose poem. It is not having the very typical rhythm that a poem has. Got it? Okay, now Max Ehrman. Max Ehrman was actually an American poet and he is well known or a famous poet because of this poem only. Okay, now Desiderata, what does it mean? It is actually a Latin word and uh, it means things desired. It means things desired. This poem was originally published in the year 1927 and uske baad poster form in the 1960s and 1970s distributed hua tha. Kyu hua tha? Kyunki ye jo poem hai, prose poem hai, ye prose poem actually is not belonging to a particular genre. Ye aisa nahi hai ki ye prose poem sirf sirf ek, you know, old English period ka hai, or middle English period ka hai, or restoration period ka hai, Augustan period ka hai, modern period ka hai, Victorian age ki hai, nahi. Ye jo poem hai, ye poem hai ek, uh, you can say ye poem jo hai, ye very much inspiring poem hai. It is a kind of motivational poem. It gives us a timeless message. It gives us a timeless message. It always inspires people to live and how to live, which ideals we should, uh, you know, we should have while, uh, you know, spending each and every day of our lives. This poem actually gives us a lesson on that. Okay? Ye jo poem hai, ye poem parne ki baat kya hoga na? People say, मतलब आसपास में जो तुम्हारा जो लोग हैं, उनसे जो expectations से तुम्हारा वो थोड़ा घट जाएगा. Expectations जो है वो खुद से करो, ठीक है? खुद से expectations करो, खुद का जो expectations से वो खुद complete करो, fulfill करो. किसी से expect मत करना कि तुम्हारा expectations जो है वो fulfill करेंगे. ठीक है कोई आके फुलफिल करेगा नहीं होता है ऐसा सिर्फ और सिर्फ हमारा पेरेंट्स जो है वही है कि व्हेन यू आर अ यंग वन दे कैन यू नो फुलफिल योर ड्रीम्स प्रोबेबली ऑल ड्रीम्स दैट दे कैन अह दे कैन डू एज मच एज दे कैन डू लेकिन उसके बाद तुम लोगों का जो एक्सपेक्टेशन से वो तुम्हें ही फुलफिल करना होगा आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एवरीवन वेदर द पर्सन इज अ मेल और अ फीमेल गॉट इट Okay, so let us start the poem और ये poem start करने की पहले मैं एक बात बोलना चाहती हूँ वो है कि ये poem सिर्फ और सिर्फ वो students के लिए नहीं है जो ISC board में class 11 और class 12 में पढ़ रहे हैं लेकिन सबके लिए है हर कोई ये poem read कर सकते हैं हर कोई ये poem ये जो video है वो देख सकते हैं क्योंकि मैं पहले ही बोल दिया कि ये जो poem है वो एक टाइमलेस मैसेज देता है सबको मोटिवेशनल और इंस्पायरिंग कुछ ऐसा बोलता है जो कि हम लोगों हम लोगों का जो लाइफस्टाइल है उसको मॉडिफाई करने में काम आएगा तो चलो लेट अस स्टार्ट द पोएम गो प्लासिडली एमिट द नॉइज एंड द हेस्ट एंड रिमेंबर व्हाट पीस देयर मे बी इन साइलेंस प्लासिडली की मतलब क्या है पीसफुली 
so yet yeah, the poet is advising to all of us that we should go with you know in a peaceful manner in a tranquil manner among the noise and the very rush okay society nowadays is very busy we all are running running behind what that we even don't know yes superficially we can say that we all are running behind you know money behind fame isn't that okay behind show off as well uh, so that's the thing so go peacefully among the very noise and the rush that the society is manifesting nowadays and remember what peace there may be in silence how many of you can relate with us that the more you are growing the more you will be a peace lover and you can always find peace within silence you will be silent with time you will be patient you will be silent you will you will hate arguing with others for your own needs and all okay as far as possible without surrender be on good terms with all persons so here the poet is telling or giving us a very lesson that we should not at all sacrifice our self respect we should not at all surrender our self respect and we should be on good terms with every person with all persons who are there around us speak your truth quietly and clearly it is not that you will always listen to others and you will always go according to their own wishes no you are a uh, i can say you are an independent entity and you are having your own wish you are having your own quality your own ideals your own morality how can you just sacrifice your moralities your own thoughts your own ideals regarding life because you are a lively entity so always listen to others but do what your mind says and you should always speak your truth your ideal quietly don't argue don't be loud don't be high to justify yourself or to establish your existence but be clear so that everyone around you can understand you properly okay you should listen to everyone but do whatever your mind says but but be a good listener that is the most important thing of your life that be a good listener you should even listen to the dull and the ignorant personalities because you know there are certain groups in a society a group of rich people a group of poor people a group of ignorant people a group of intelligent people a group of you know uh, many other people and these groups are decided by whom defined by whom by the people who are living in the society only okay they are actually compared they are actually uh, you can say um, distinguished through the very money through their potency of earning money or of collecting money or of showing money okay but you should be a good listener and you should also listen to the dull even the dull and the ignorant people because they are also having their own stories and god knows whose story will come or will uh, be proven as a useful one in your life avoid loud and aggressive persons you know there are a lot of people who are so loud who used to be always high and so much aggressive always high always loud always aggressive in establishing themselves okay always praise themselves only nobody will praise themselves they only praise themselves they are actually vexatious or irritating souls the negative souls negative spirits okay so always try to avoid them and if you compare yourself with others you may become vain or bitter so that is the greatest truth of your life of our lives that we should first what should we stop we should first stop comparing ourselves with others around us that is so deadly that even can cause you know Mm, cause to suicide that even can impose the very suicidal attitude within ourselves understood so uh, if you compare yourself with others it can be so vain it can be so bitter it can be so like hateful okay for always there will be greater and lesser persons than you there will be greater persons than you there will be lesser persons than you as well actually there are a lot of people or you can say there are a few people around you who used to uh, give you some negative thoughts or always used to push negatively telling that you are a you are a mean person 
okay what do you do all the time staying at home suppose you are striving for a job and you're not getting you have uh, sit for a government examination for uh, for seven times and you have proven yourself as a failure superficially then a few near pe nearest people of your lives can say that what do you do all the time staying at home just wasting money and eating food and all what do you do actually you are a good for nothing then do not at all consider yourselves as a good for nothing only because always remember that the situation that you are going through there are a lot of people who are going through even worse situation than you okay that's the thing enjoy your achievements as well as your plans so you should always enjoy each and every achievement of your life it can be even a smaller achievement it can be even a greater achievement but you should always enjoy every moment of your life because god knows when he will actually call you keep interested in your own career my goodness okay how we were humble so it is the only thing that will uh that will be of you that will be that will be your um, your treasure understood your treasure will be or your treasury is only your career and the degree certificates and the knowledge that you have gained no one can snatch away these things from you your gold can be snatched away your money can be snatched away your team card can be snatched away your house can be even collapse but what about the very knowledge that is that you have gained true knowledge you can on till now i am having hope the true knowledge we can earn okay so it is your real position it is your real friend in the changing fortunes of time that means what people who are right now so good to you your best friends will definitely change some days yes not i'm not talking about everyone but a few definitely will be changed situation will be changed you will be alone you will be lonely but who will be your true friends who will remain your true friends your degrees your knowledge okay so today up to this part i have taught you in the next video i will teach you the rest of this prose poem do not forget to comment below how you are feeling like whether you are understanding the way i am teaching or not and which questions you are wanting to know from me if you like the video do not forget to share among your friends okay then bye for today and we'll see you soon